We're back here at our lovely home in Los Angeles, California. But why? Because I just posted a video a month or so ago saying we booked a one-way ticket to Thailand. So why are we back? I've we come back with our tail in between our legs thinking this didn't work, homeschooling wasn't working, Thailand wasn't for us. Well, I'm going to talk all about that on this video and also talk about what the future really does hold for the Jeffries family. Traveling to Thailand was great. It did have its ups and downs. We were living like kings for half the price just to get by here in California. Now, homeschooling, that had its ups and downs as well. More ups than downs. I've done a full video on how we homeschooled the kids. You should watch that one after if you're interested in that, which we go over some interesting things that might make you think about it homeschooling your kids or might make you think it's definitely not for me but overall traveling was amazing and the reason why we're back in california is to pack up our house sell all the stuff or put a lot of it in storage and then we're going to go where are we going well the beginning of november we're going to australia i'm teaching the boxing fitness academy in perth and another one in melbourne where we teach people how to teach boxing to other people and also sarah's brothers live there as well so we're going to visit them then from there, I'm coming back to Los Angeles in December just for a week while we teach our boxing certification course here. Then I'm flying to Seattle, going to the Bigger Ground Gym where we put on in there our boxing fitness classes. So I'm going to be teaching there. Then after that, we'll be flying back to the UK where we're going to spend Christmas with our family. And then next year is the year where we're going to travel the world. And if you've seen the very first video I did on our one-way ticket to Thailand, you will know about my financial situation and how we can do that and how I can work online. But we plan on going to Rotterdam, to Rome, to Venice, to Vienna, to Croatia, to Dubai, to Tokyo, to Bali, and wherever else we might go in between that. And when I done the first video about moving to Thailand, I got a lot of messages, so many people supporting us and saying it's amazing what we're doing. And there was one message that really stood out to me and it said something along the lines of this, Tony, what you and your wife are doing is amazing. My parents were also planning on traveling when we got older. Now we're older, they booked their flight to Italy. They're going to travel the world because they were passionate about doing that. But my mother got stage four cancer and she's soon going to die. And now they can't travel the world. The message was something like that. I'm not going to post who said it or whatever because it was private, but it really made me think like, wow, we're on this planet one time. We'll live one time. We've got to make the most of it. We've got to do what we can when we can because tomorrow is not promised for anyone. And it really made me think, you know, what we're doing is the right thing. We don't want to wait until we're 60 years old and then, you know, decide let's go travel the world then because we might not be here when we're 60 years old. And, you know, I got a lot of messages from the last video telling me like that's in, it's inspired people to, you know, try and do the same to, you know, live the life because after all, we're only here one time and we don't know how long we're here. So we've got to really live it as much as we can. For years, I've always been saving, saving, working my ass off, saving. And yeah, I'll continue to do that a little bit. But now it's like, no, I'm 37 years old now. I'm healthy. I've got three young kids. I've got an amazing wife who's healthy as well. Let's live now. Let's live for the now rather than waiting and waiting and waiting. Now, I'm not here trying to be a motivational speaker or anything like that, because I'm not. I'm just telling you what we're doing. We're doing something different. We're going against the grain. And there is people out there saying, well, you're stupid. How can you pull your kids out of school and, and do this? How can you just leave everything that you've built and go away and, you know, do your own thing? And you know, the funny thing is, right? We're going to do this. We're planning on traveling for at least 12 months of next year. If after three months, we're like, homeschooling's not working. This is not working. I need a structure for my businesses. Sarah, who's building her own business, which is getting announced very soon, I'm very excited about that, is, you know, we need to have a, a base and we need to, you know, to stay here and work and do that. If that's what happens, what we can do is come back to exactly where we are. If we didn't do this, I know for a fact in one, two, three, five, ten years time from now, we will regret it. Especially if something happens and we get sick. Like I said, that person's parent got stage four cancer. If that happened to us in two years from now and we didn't do this now, you know, we would regret it. So we're doing it. 
We're nervous, but we're very excited. And I'm planning on meeting business owners from around the world in different countries and different cities. If you are a business owner, please get in touch. You can email me, tonyjeffies at gmail.com. And I would love to come and network with you and show you what we doing with our license and business and that can help you put boxing classes on in your gym and successful boxing classes like that i appreciate you listening to this video i appreciate your support or if you're not supporting and you're having a go i appreciate your concern yeah make sure you subscribe to this second youtube channel where i'll be posting updates about our crazy travels